Hey guys, this is Alex. I'm here in uh, Florida for Limited Nationals. Just flew in and I'm packing my bags and uh, got a couple questions from uh, some buddies of mine about kind of what I do when I travel, how I pack things, how I make sure things are safe. Uh, so I thought I'd do a quick video, mainly because everything's already packed up already and there's no extra work on my part aside from the, the recording and the talking. So I thought I'd go over it. So uh, first off, kind of what we're looking at here is my travel bag. This is what ends up getting uh, checked in with uh, the airline and what goes underneath the plane. Um, this setup has evolved over the last couple of years. Uh, I've flown to probably uh, 12 or so matches uh, over the last three or four years uh, with firearms. And um, you know, I started out with a hard case, ended up with this thing, and we'll kind of go over why as we go on through this video. But uh, the first thing to cover is that my range bag, which is right here, no longer, uh, no longer goes in the uh, travel bag. And the reason is, as you can kind of see here, um, you know, it takes up, you know, like 70, 80% of the, the space of the bag. Now this is not a large bag. This is a, a 29 inch roller bag from North Face. Um, but you know, if I were to shove this thing in here, it'd take up most of the space. So uh, that right off the bat is kind of a non-starter for me. So now what I do is I, I clean this up a little bit and um, bring it on board as a carry-on, put, put other things in there, laptop, electronics, gear, you know, hats, whatever. Um, and this goes on the plane with me. Now, getting checked in is this guy. So um, the first thing to cover, I guess, is, is kind of how uh, it, things are locked up. Um, so this, since this is a soft case and I've got a variety of things inside, uh, the first thing to cover is that on the outside of this, it is gonna be secured with one of these guys. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, this is a TSA approved lock that uh, the TSA essentially has the combo for and uh, they're able to get into. And this is kind of one of the things with traveling with a soft case. Your firearm has to be locked in a hard case. Um, and if you are using something like a Pelican, like a big rolling Pelican, then um, you would just use standard locks on that thing. But um, on the soft case, we're using a TSA approved lock on the outside and then different locks that the TSA can't get into on the inside. So if we take a look at inside this thing, uh, you kind of see how I have it laid out. Um, and this is, this is literally how it, it uh, came on the plane with me. So I got a couple things here. Uh, obviously I got a, a roller. Uh, Nationals is three days, something like 29 stages this year. It's a marathon. So having something to um, uh, stretch out with makes life a lot easier. Um, let's see here. Got a couple things here. Really simple. Uh, some flip flops uh, just to kind of pad my rig. Uh, cleats that I shoot in. Uh, those end up going in the travel bag as well. My shooting belt. Uh, I've taken the holster off and I have it uh, in this guy right here. And um, I'll put it back together you know, in a little bit uh, with tools, but the last thing I want is for it to get damaged in transit. Some people will say, bring this as carry-on, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, if you lose your, your, uh, your bag, if the airline loses it, uh, it's already kind of a non-starter. So we've got that. We've got a um, case of ammo that I uh, essentially saran wrapped with moving moving uh, saran wrap. Just roll around, make sure the case doesn't uh, open up and spoil ammunition everywhere. I've got a uh, cooler here that I put a lot of the stuff that goes in the rain bag in, range bag inside. And uh, I'll open this up in a second. But uh, for now, let's take a look at this guy. So this is, you know, obviously my firearm, as you can guess. So it's a Pelican case. Uh, this is a 1400 inside of a, a soft case. And you can see here a couple things, um, inspections from TSA, right? And uh, a firearms declaration letter. 
So the way this thing is set up, uh, this thing is using non TSA approved locks. You can see how ridiculous these locks are. And both of those locks have steel cables going from them to the frame of the case. And this is really so that it's one less thing to worry about. Uh, when you're flying with firearms, really what you're not worried about, uh, really what you're worried about is you know, a baggage handler or someone that works within the airport having access to the bag and taking the firearm out. Uh, you might be using you know, a smaller hard case or a soft case uh, inside a larger bag and it might be something that they can you know, kind of easily walk off with. And so this kind of uh, negates that. Um, you know, this thing obviously makes it very complicated for them to uh, open up the case in the first place, much less walk off with the case. So this, this is, you know, it's fairly secure. So inside here, uh, what I will do is open this up real fast. And inside here, I end up putting pretty much everything that I, I want to protect. Right? And so what that is, is it's my firearm my mags uh, and it's actually my spare parts as well so once I open this up you can see you can see here I've got uh, you know my name contact information here uh, in case TSA needs to get into the case after I've already talked to them um, just so then I have to cut the locks or try to cut the locks but inside here you can see I don't use any kind of special foam or anything like that I use normal bag that I hold my pistol in as well as the normal thing that I hold my mags in and I just throw it in there and it's it's plenty of protection so one other thing to note here is that um, I don't know if you can see this let's see here I've got the gun chamber flagged um, and I do that for a couple reasons um, one it's so that uh, obviously I know that the thing is unloaded and it's safe but two, it's also so that when TSA, uh, if they open the bag, if they ask for my keys to open up this case and take a look at the firearm, that they can just open up this zip case, uh, see that the firearm's unloaded and it's got a chamber flag in it, as opposed to them trying to figure out how to, you know, pull my gun out, rack it. Um, it's got a thumb shield, so I really don't want them messing with it. So the um, chamber flag just makes things a little bit easier. All right, so uh, I've got my mags in here, I've got spare parts, uh, all fitted to my gun, and pretty much that is what I fly with. Um, inside the cooler, what I've got is essentially all the other stuff that would normally go into my range bag that I cannot uh, take with me carry on, for the most part. So that is ears, you know, some glasses, stuff to clean and lube the gun with, uh, some sunscreen, and inside here I have got um, essentially a, a packing cube and it's filled with all the stuff from my range bag. So it is my holster, uh, a spare inner belt, uh, tools, uh, grip stuff, mag brush, some, uh, some towels, that sort of stuff. Um, the reason why I don't keep this stuff kind of uh, on its own inside the bag is that if TSA goes and inspects your your luggage um, they're gonna take everything out and what that means is they're gonna take things out one by one while they they swab the case or look for hidden things or, or whatever and the easier you make it for them as in if you give them this one cube to take out as opposed to 30 different things the better chance you have of having your 30 different things uh, make it to your destination uh, as opposed to, you know, getting half of it back or something getting left on the table. So, um, you know, that's kind of my travel setup. I'm gonna put my holster together, uh, fill up my range bag and uh, get cracking. So, thanks for watching. Hope it was useful.